Hello, I'm uh, Steven Ongina. I'm at the uh, University of Zurich and the uh, Swiss Finance Institute. And today I would like to talk to you about the uh, usage of uh, loan fixed effects uh, to control for uh, loan demand and characteristics of uh, loan demand in the context of uh, sustainable banking. So, um, I first have to explain a little bit of the, the context and then I can explain you why um, loan fixed effects can be uh, a very adequate um, control for um, characteristics of loan demand, being quantity and uh, quality of loan demand. The context is one in which um, we have access to a data set, uh, a syndicated loan data, and one of the characteristics of uh, syndicated loans is that many banks participate in a syndicate. What that means is that a firm gets a loan from a syndicate um, led by a, a lead uh, manager, a lead bank, um, but um, many banks participate uh, with individual shares. Now, what that enables is the, um, the introduction in empirical specification of a loan fixed effect, meaning that um, there's basically for every loan that is granted, a, an effect that is going to control for all these the characteristics of the loan, including uh, who's on the demand side, the, the, the borrower. So what this loan fixed effect does in a regression is it enables us to start taking steps uh, towards identifying what is coming from the supply side, from the credit supply side, meaning the banks uh, deciding on the, the share that they're going to uh, uh, take in the, in the individual loan. Now that's quite powerful because in, in, in this context then one can start investigating certain um, actions that the bank would take as a consequence of say regulatory innovations and the like. Now the context I would like to, to sketch to show you the, uh, the way in which such a loan uh, fixed effect can be very useful is one in which banks are subject to different stringencies of um, uh, climate policy. And so this is based on a paper with uh, Ghazi Kabas and um, Emanuela Benincasa, and it's uh, uh, entitled, There's No Planet B, but for banks, there are countries B to Z. The context is indeed, banks are sub subject to different uh, stringency of uh, climate policy in their home countries, and therefore may actually start um, changing or shifting some of their credit to uh, other countries. And the way one can start identifying this effect is indeed with this loan fixed effect. So we're going to have a, a time span over which we're going to look how the um, climate policy stringency in the home country of the banks is going to change. Uh, and there is actually quite some variation in this climate policy stringency, which one can measure with a variety of, of measures in the paper we use um, the CCPI and the C3I, which are sort of established uh, climate policy uh, stringency measures. And so then we're going to look at how they're partaking of these banks in loans that are granted um, cross-border, so in, in other countries, is going to change as a consequence of the stringency of the climate policy in the home country. And again, the loan fixed effect is going to play a crucial role because it really this exercise is then going to be called a within loan exercise and one can start arguing that the effect is mainly coming, actually mostly coming from the bank side. So we're going to have the stringency in the home country, the banks are going to look for opportunities abroad to lend, and we're going to pin down the, all the characteristics of the loan and also of the borrower in those countries abroad with this loan fixed effect. And so within loan, we can then observe how the bank's individual shares is going to vary according to the stringency of the home uh, country uh, uh, climate policy. And not entirely unexpectedly, what we find is that indeed, as the stringency of the um, uh, home country where the bank is located, as the stringency of the policy there uh, is increasing, we're going to see banks gradually uh, uh, shifting some of their uh, credit um, overseas or at least abroad, um, uh, possibly also, of course, within Europe. And we're going to observe this effect only uh, when actually the stringency in the home country of the bank is, is higher than the stringency 
um, in the country of the firm, of the borrower. And again, maybe overstressing this a little bit, but the loan fixed effect is really an enabler to, for us to start claiming that this is really coming from the bank side. Because mind you, if you do not have this type of control in place, one could always come up with uh, alternative explanations which would reside in the fact that the firm, that the demand side would actually be seeking, uh, seeking out certain banks. Um, notice actually that in the context of syndicated loans, it's hard to make this argument because not only do we have this loan fixed effect and the within loan type uh, regression and estimation results, but the syndicated loan is also set up in a way that actually the lead manager has um, quite a bit of um, control of who is actually partaking in, in, the, in the syndicate. And so the, the credit is going to be shared among the participants in the syndicate. And uh, of course, one could always argue that indirectly the bar would send, send some um, information to the lead manager to, to help choose who is partaking. But in practice, that is uh, obviously not the case. And so this is the... Um, usage of a uh, loan fixed effect uh, to control for the quality and the quantity of loan demand. Uh, and in this way, one can start arguing that the results that we find is really the banks making the decision uh, um, to shift uh, some of their credit to those countries where uh, climate policies are less stringent. Um, clearly, the bottom line of this, of this finding is that climate policy needs to be globally coordinated for it to be effective, at least in the credit market, because uh, banks can always uh, fairly easily uh, shift uh, credit uh, to under other countries where climate policies are not so stringent.